Where are you now when darkness seems to end? Where are you now when the world is crumbling? Oh, I, I, I hear you say, I hear you say, look up, child. actually on this mission trip this past summer when we were down in Puerto Rico. After one of our really long work days, after we had just spent hours working at the church in these really hot and humid conditions, we all got to go spend some time just at the beach afterwards. Um, we enjoyed some of these local treats that were really good and we all just kind of got to sit together and watch the waves and talk about our day and it was just a really nice memory. Looking back at my years with Family of Christ, I'm super grateful for this experience and every single time I stepped foot in that building, I felt that love, I felt that comfort, I felt the joy. And I want to thank all the leaders, um, all the pastors, the parents that were involved, and everyone that was able to just help comfort me through this experience and ultimately help me grow in my faith. And that's primarily why I became a leader was because I wanted my group to feel that same way, to feel that same comfort and the love and the joy. And, and it, was, it was powerful seeing them grow in their faith too and just for me to connect with them on a personal level.